Hi guys, hi guys, uh, how are you all doing? I am good myself and today is Sunday so I'm just gonna take you through a few charts where I'll be doing just the overview to show you what you can expect from this chart so I'll probably do probably do uh, maybe two NASDAQ, US 30 or maybe gold as well so that I just show you what to look for in the next coming week all right so if you're new here make sure that you subscribe and you hit the bell icon so that you don't miss uh, new uploads from me so i'll try as, as i promised i'll try and give you one video a day so every day before you go to sleep make sure that you come this side and just check on the new upload all right let's get started so we're gonna start with the us 30 so as always we start at the at the top we always do the top down analysis so i always start with the highest time frame on our thing which is our monthly so that i know what what, what is exactly doing there so on the monthly i'll just be looking for i'll just be identifying my key areas so that here we can see this is the area of support that is sort of in control there and then the opposite resistance is this one up here so if i was just trading the monthly alone I'll be saying I'll be looking to buy here. I'll buy here and then hope that the price is gonna hit there. So that is what you're seeing on the highest time frame. Remember, it does not mean the price must just shoot straight up and reach for that level because the price does not move like that, especially because this scale is too huge. So you find that on H4 sometimes we'll have a downtrend, but that downtrend you find that it's just a small tail. It only accounts for like a small tail on monthly because the scale that side is very small. You see, so that's why when you're trading the highest time frame, you know, it's it's very, you know, stress, the stress this side is not that much as compared to when you're trading the smaller time frame. So this is all that you are having on monthly. So make sure that you stick with me throughout because I'll be showing you what exactly to expect. So on monthly, we can just conclude by saying we have hit the monthly, um, monthly uh, area of support for the past uh, couple of weeks or so. We've been in the monthly support now it seems like the price is rejecting from it and then the next opposing is that one so let's move down to our our uh, weekly and just see what's happening on weekly so on weekly i remember i marked the the weekly support which is uh, inside that monthly support so which is this one here so we are inside the weekly support which is inside the monthly support and then after hitting that remember the highest time frame is much more stronger than the smaller time frame so meaning if you are comparing a weekly setup to a, a monthly setup uh, the monthly has higher chances of just uh, demolishing the structures on your weekly so the higher the time frame the the stronger the level so here we can see that uh, even in the previous uh, lesson that I did on the analysis that I did on this one, the US 30, we concluded that the price had the bullish engulfing. We had a couple of rejection candlesticks still around the same um, the same uh, weekly support. And I said, now this is the chance for the price to try and have uh, another go at the trend line. And it seems like the trend line is breathing through the wound. So which means on, on weekly, this is the area of support and that's the area of resistance. So price seems to be trying to get there. That's all that you have. We can take from weekly and let's check what is happening on daily. So on daily, that's where the things uh, get interesting. So on daily, when we were going down, uh, you know, it all depends. Sometimes it all depends on you. If you feel like this here it's a swing then it means when you're going down like myself it looks like a swing to me so when i was going down uh, my bearish trend line was here when we were going down right because i'm saying it's a swing so if i'm saying it's a swing then i don't have to talk about this one because it means this does not belong here so it means this is a swing and we uh, we had this lowest point or the swing low here being our area of what our area new area of support that caused a move to the upside and broke the trend line and when we were going down this year around here it was our area of of resistance right so after look what we did uh, which is the same if you remember the setup i gave you on nasdaq it's the same thing so we had this breaking the trend line the price post before taking off and breaking the resistance which means which which support broke the resistance is this support so that resistance does not exist anymore it was broken by 
this area of support this one here this one here so which means both the, these two areas of support the daily support they are both valid one of them broke the previous uh, resistance one of them broke the previous trend line so you can sell uh, you can buy from the first one and then if it gets broken that's when you shift to the next one in this case the first one is the one that held the price here and at that time when the price was playing there this was the opposing area of resistance this one here so the price uh, it was going up nicely we we're thinking it would go there but then it created a new imbalance in the middle of nowhere and then from there we came back to the support that you're talking about so it means now the the opposing uh, resistance was this one and the opposing support was this one so the price was just bouncing in between the two and then now last week uh, what do you call this uh, last week we managed to break uh, what's this we managed to break uh, that opposing resistance that opposing structure which is our resistance we managed to break it because you can see we are having candlesticks above it so now it comes a question of saying because this was a very key area of uh, resistance being the nearest uh, resistance above now it is broken you ask yourself which area of support gave us that move that broke that uh, resistance then you're going to say it was this market pause here it was this pause here from this pause that's when we went up and violated that resistance so the, because the resistance has been broken we don't have it anymore you must remove it then you're moving up searching for the next resistance which means is this one which is still inside of the week uh, is it a weekly yes it is inside the weekly so now this is the nearest uh, support we can even delete this one it's still far we'll only talk about it when this one has been broken so now it means on daily this is my support that's my resistance and we are going up because it gave us a new high it means on daily we are having a, a bullish trend line like this a bullish trend line like that so which means uh, what you can expect from this one should the price come back into this you can look for buying opportunities if it gives you reasons to go long you can go long there and remember the ultimate goal is to get there the ultimate goal is to get there or if this one gets broken then you'll move to the one that is here which is going to be around the trend line also adding more odds to your side but the ultimate goal is to get there but it does not mean i can just buy in the middle of nowhere and say it's gonna go up it can do that but you need to wait for the price to reach the right areas or the areas of the high odd where you're going to get a discount you see other than just jumping in in the middle of nowhere then then let's check what is happening on h4 let's see what is happening on h4 so on h4 that move that we're talking about it has a, a bullish trend line as you can see here that's the bullish trend line right and the price is bouncing from the bullish trend line so if you are trading from h4 it means Going short is not safe unless the price, even in the previous lesson, I made the same thing, saying unless the price break this, then, then you can look to sell. And then when you are selling, remember, you're not going to target, you know, the lower prices. You're just targeting that daily market pause because that's where the price might bounce and go up should it break this. But if it doesn't break it, it's most likely going to play above that. So if you are looking to go short, if you're looking to go short, uh, you have to wait for this one to be broken but if let's say you are someone that trades uh let's say uh that trades uh that trades h4 and maybe an h1 right then it means your h4 is still bullish why because your trend line is still holding okay that's correct so if my h4 is still bullish when the price came here and then maybe if you're saying this is my pin bar you would have went in and say because what the price is around my higher time frame uh my higher time frame what trend line and that trend line is a bullish trend line and on that time frame we are bullish right and even here it's just that the zone is too big but this is the support on this time frame so we are inside this support on this time frame which is also we are at the h4 area of what uh, the trend line which is why we have bought but when you're buying you'll be targeting this one it all depends on the time frames that you're trading but for now i would say if you want to go short wait for this guy to be removed or if you are going long you can continue doing that but if what this guy gets removed you are no longer gonna buy 
and or if you want to play it safe once it's broken you can wait for it to hit what, what was that you can wait for it to hit that um that daily market pause remember it must all link it must, you can wait for it to hit here before you can look to buy again but the ultimate goal is to get here if the price goes down it goes down but uh, remember this is a probability game so based on this structure we can say we don't have much we can't find this and not a lot of points that can tell us that that are saying that uh you know the the, the bulls who the best would win because currently you can see even from weekly that we had those pin bars we had that uh, bullish engulfing and the trend line is being uh, challenged you can see that everything is just pointing up even on daily we said we broke that uh, the area of resistance we broke it there and then we have a new bullish trend line this one has long been broken you can remove it and you still have enough space to hit that opposite structure so we still have a lot that is pointing to the upside and on h4 the only uh, everything is still pointing up if you're looking to buy you can continue doing that but the day the price breaks the trend line you are going to stop buying it's either you're gonna stop buying and just wait for the price maybe to hit this before you continue buying uh, or you just wait you see so that's all that you can expect from 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 uh, us 30 i'll try and update should the structure change but currently if you're looking to sell make sure that you're playing it safe you're playing it safe that daily zone is probably around around here so let's make this visible on daily and then go on daily and see if you will also find it that side because i think that's where that daily zone is at all right let's come this side yes you can see our h4 is inside that daily zone so when when the price is coming down if let's say the price breaks this and then it gives you a reason to go short you are going to target these guys because this is where we have that daily market pause and this h4 is located inside there and if you look at what this h4 did this h4 is the one that gave us a very strong move to the upside this strong move so from here you can maybe if the price comes here you can even search for reasons to go long but the only time you can go short, like I already mentioned, if you are trading this one, executing from H4, is just to wait this one to be taken out because you don't have yet have a space where you can say I'm selling. You can't say I'm going to sell from this because this did not do anything. It didn't do anything to convince you that it has defeated the bears because the bears still have their trend line intact. So you can just sell after maybe if this has broken and then maybe you can wait for your pullback and sell like that then this is gonna be your target but if you are that con um, conservative type of a trader you will just wait and then maybe continue buying continue buying continue buying until once this is broken you just wait and say i'll wait i'll meet this price on the other side maybe should you get here that's where i'm going to look for buying opportunities again I hope it makes sense. I hope it. So that's basically what you can expect from this one here. That's what you can expect from it. So I'm going to end it here and then I'll do another one. Remember every Sunday, make sure you come this side because that's why I'm going to give you one or two charts that you can, you know, maybe trade that week. But I can't give you exactly the point where I'll say buy here, you no, know, because I'll show you the areas that are, you know that are strong where the price is most likely gonna struggle to break and then that's where you can search for the trades yourself so i'm just showing you pointing you in the right direction and if you like this style of trading and maybe you would like to learn it more from me you can just let me know in the comment section because currently i've got eight guys that i took in and i'm mentoring them i'm just showing them how to do this step by step so we still have time we started uh, two weeks back or three weeks back yes so far they're doing well and yeah so with you guys i'll just doing the i'll just be doing overviews this side so that's basically what you can expect from this baby here all right guys uh don't forget to like and subscribe i'm gonna end it like that and then i'll see you in the next video that i'm gonna make just now all right bye bye